now let's do a problem uh, for empirical formula and calculating the molecular formula from it. Remember empirical formula is smallest ratio of elements whereas the molecular formula is actual ratio. Okay, and so for actual ratio you need to have the molecular mass. Okay, so let's do a problem which has kind of everything in it. Okay, so first the question determine the empirical formula of a mineral with 28.59% oxygen, 24.95% iron, and 46.46% calcium. What is its formula unit if the actual mass is 1,316 grams per mole. So we're going to take this through from the empirical formula to the calculation of the actual formula. All right, so let's get started. Step number one is you add up all the percents just to make sure that everything is accounted for. So 28.59 plus 24.95 plus 46.46 and this is all equal to a hundred percent so we're okay with that the second thing is convert percents to grams and again this is not a separate step but this is just to remind you that you need to do this so um, example 28.59 percent oxygen is going to be equivalent to 28.59 grams of oxygen okay and so number three then is convert to moles all right so this is uh, the big setup over here and so we convert each of these elements to moles as we've done before so let's get started 28.59 grams of oxygen convert that into moles of oxygen to 16.00 grams that is equal to 1.787 moles of oxygen and then 24.95 grams of iron convert that into moles of iron from the periodic table the mass is 55.85 grams of iron and this is equal to 0.447 moles of iron and then lastly we have um, calcium and calcium is 46.46 grams of calcium find the moles of calcium again from the periodic table the mass is 40.08 grams calcium and this is equal to 1.109 moles of calcium once we have the moles of everything then the next thing is to uh, set up the mole ratio and usually I will give a little bit room here um, because you still have to do a little bit more calculations so calcium iron and oxygen the calcium 1.109 and I wrote calcium first because calcium is on the left side of the periodic table then I wrote iron even though I did my calculation in the other way but I will write the formula in the correct way um, so start from the left hand side of the periodic table and go to the rightmost side okay, of the periodic table. So once you have all the moles written out, divided by the smallest number which is 0 0.447. So each is divided by 0 0.447 and then this comes out to be calcium 2.48 iron comes out to be 1 because it's divided by itself and then oxygen comes out to be 3.99 um, now this is a good example of rounding off um, calcium here is 2.5 2.5 is equivalent to two and a half to remove that half over here you need to multiply this whole formula by 2 so which means we take um, calcium 2.48 
iron 1 and oxygen 3.99. Now the 3.99 can be rounded off to 4 without any problems and multiply this all by 2 to get rid of the half, okay, to get rid of the 0.5 over here. And so after this, your formula should come out to be calcium 5, iron 2, and then oxygen will be 8. And that is the empirical formula, okay, that you have uh, calculated. We're not quite done yet. We have one more step to do because we were actually given the mass, okay, of the compound. So our fifth is to find um, the formula unit. Okay, this is the empirical formula. Now we are finding the formula unit. So to do this, what you will need to do is um, find the um, index, okay, the index number that you have to multiply the empirical formula to get the actual molecular formula. And so to get that number n, it's going to be um, the formula unit mass divided by the empirical formula mass. So the formula unit mass is given to us, which is uh, 1,316. We need to find the empirical formula mass. So for calcium 5, iron 2, oxygen 8, you do the whole calculation. So calcium, which is um, 40.08 times 5, iron, which is going to be 55.85 times 2, and then oxygen is 16.00 times 8. Okay, so you find the masses of this. This is 200.4 plus 110. 0.1 for iron and then oxygen is 128 okay and this is all grams per mole and this is equal to 438.5 grams per mole and that is the mass of empirical formula okay so now you'll go ahead and plug that in this equation over here so number six step over here for us is the formula mass which is 1,316 grams per mole divided by 438.5 grams per mole. And this gives us um, a unit of three. So which means now the final answer is seven, where we go ahead and take the empirical formula, C, calcium five, iron two, oxygen 8 and multiply this whole thing by 3 okay because that is what we calculated from our um, formula mass so now this becomes calcium 15 iron 6 and then oxygen 24 yes huge huge formula uh, it may or may not be true it doesn't matter this is for the purpose of calculation and this is how you would calculate it so then this is the final formula unit for um, this mineral, whatever it was.